Hello, welcome back to my channel, it's Shannon. I'm excited because today we're back with another thrift haul video. You know I love thrifting and I found some really cute stuff I can't wait to share with you. I already went ahead and styled every piece and filmed that, so I'm gonna have all of the pieces styled and I'm really, really happy with how everything came out. Before we get into the haul, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you have not already. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Also. I I took the vines down in my background. What do you all think? I think I like it better. I think it looks cleaner. I think the vines just needed to go. It was just time to kind of clean things up and freshen up. Let me know what you think. I finally decided to just burn my candles. I don't know why I've always just like let them back there not burning. Nice little atmosphere going on over here with the candles burning. All right, let's get into the haul. around for a little bit you know that I've been getting into wearing a lot more pink a lot more of like a girly style than I used to have I've been working on looking a little more mature with the way I dress although I don't know if we'll ever reach full maturity <laughs> I found this sweater and I just thought this was really cute this looks so cozy and comfortable and I don't wear a lot of plaid but for some reason this stuck out to me just because I really like this pink color it's actually from Lauren Con Conrad. It's a size small. It's so thick and like squishy and comfortable. I really, really like it. I styled this into a really cute outfit. I put on the plaid green skirt. I think I showed you in like a mini thrift haul a couple of videos ago and it looked really cute together. I love mixing kind of like similar prints together. I just think it makes for a really interesting outfit. And then I put on my pink tights, Doc Martens, and some slouchy socks and I thought it looked really cute. I see a lot of versatility with this though because it would also look cute just paired with like a casual pair of jeans, sneakers, or you can kind of dress it up with the skirt even with like a more basic skirt I think it would look cute. So I'm really happy with this really warm snuggly pink sweater. I love a good sweater. This one cost me $9.11 at the Goodwill and I think I forgot to mention I got all of this at the Goodwill near to my house. It's my lucky Goodwill. I always find stuff I like there. Next up, I got this skirt. Speaking of trying to class up and make my wardrobe a little more mature, that's why I bought this. I thought this was a really nice kind of basic skirt. Looks a little more dressier, but you could dress this up or down. Really, really nice, good quality material. Oh, it's a wool blend. Made in Italy, wow. So this is actually from New York & Co. I remember my mom used to shop there a lot when I was little. I'd go in the New York and Co. with her. It's a size six, which is my normal size. I paired this with a little like cami and sweater set that I really like, and then tights and sneakers to make it a little more casual. I thought it was a cute outfit. I was kind of going for like what I would wear if I worked in an office. <laughs> if you guys know me, I'll probably never have an office job. <laughs> I thought the outfit was really cute. It was like my version of professionality. I paid $5.11 for this skirt. Hopefully I will get a lot of use out of it. I don't know exactly why I bought this. Back when I had my upcycling business, I used to love to find this fabric. This was a popular fabric on dresses and like women's wear, I think in the 90s, this little like vine print on this stretchy material. And I found this glittery set version of it with this tank top. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick up how sparkly this is but I really liked this. I liked how it sparkled. I liked the material and the vines and then it did come with this like little cardigan to go over the top. This is shedding glitter everywhere. Wouldn't be one of my videos without glitter flying everywhere, right? Don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. I thought the tank was kind of cute and it fit kind of nice, so I might wear this like this. But it's gonna go in my project closet because I kind of wanna try to flip this into something else or maybe redesign it a little bit and make it a little more modern. I did cut the shoulder pads out of this to try it on. I just put it on with a black 
black skirt and some tights and it actually did look kind of cute. It looks pretty old on the tag. The brand is Ronnie Nicole Petite. Gosh, this does look really old. I don't even see a size on it. PM, is that petite medium? Literally shedding glitter all over the floor. I don't even know how I'm gonna wash this. I don't know what the fates hold for this, but I just was inspired by it and felt like maybe I could do something with it. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to vacuum. I paid $6.88 for this set. So not a huge investment if it doesn't end up working out. I don't know, I think I was just like drawn to the glitteriness of it. <laughs> Oh, this is covered in glitter. It was shedding all over the floor. <laughs> I found this pink cropped sweater that's distressed with these kind of like holes in it. I love this color, this kind of like dusty rose that I'm so into right now. I styled this with this skirt I just got off of Poshmark that I'm obsessed with. And it has like birch trees and rainbows on it. And this matched and looked so cute with it, with the tights and then the white sneakers. I can see myself getting a lot of use out of this. I think it's versatile. And I just kind of like the distressing on it. It looks like girly yet kind of grungy. And I really liked that about this piece. I paid $6.11 for this sweater. I think it's really cute. I really like it. I saw this and I just thought it looked so comfy. This is like a long maxi skirt with this kind of like retro rose print on it. At first I wasn't sure, but the more I looked at it, the more I liked it. I liked the kind of vintage retro feeling. I was thinking when I tried it on that I might want to turn it into like a shorter skirt and cut it off. But then when I styled it with the sweater I had on and like the shoes and tights and everything, I kind of liked it long too. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Let me know if you think I should keep it long or make it short because right now I'm really torn. It was giving me like do something with me. I'm a project vibes. Bring Brand is called Lee Winter. This does look pretty old. I want to say this is probably from the 90s. Stitching's holding up pretty good. Kind of has like a grandma's, grandma's house kind of smell. It smells it smells like my grandma's house used to smell. Oh my god. That is so weird. I am like going way back in time right now. This must have belonged to a sweet old grandma. Aw. Well, I'm happy that I found it and I think that whatever I decide to do with it, I think I will wear it. I'll probably end up making it short. I barely ever wear long skirts, but we'll see. And I paid $5.11 for this skirt. Lastly, I picked up this pair of little shoes. I thought these looked so cute. They just reminded me of like little fairy slippers and they look pretty old too. The brand says Jewel Tone Originals and they're a size eight, which is actually my size. I feel like I never find shoes at the thrift store. Also, they kind of gross me out a little bit. So it's not something I always buy because they're hard to clean, you know, with like the clothes you can wash them. They seemed okay. They didn't look super dirty. They're kind of goofy but I thought they were cute and they were only five dollars. I like the little flower embroidery on them. I thought it was cute. Reminding me of some little fairy slippers and I really liked them. Okay, that's gonna do it for this thrift haul. Just a few things, but I really like all the pieces and I think they're gonna fit into my wardrobe really nicely and be things that I can get a lot of wear and use out of. I'm working on not buying things that I'm not gonna wear and love and being kind of meticulous with my buying choices. Trying to hold myself accountable as best I can, but I do love shopping and it's fun and I love thrifting because it's definitely more more sustainable and it's a good way to give clothing another life. Not spend a ton of money to keep your wardrobe feeling refreshed and have new pieces to rotate in which is what I really like about it. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I really appreciate all of you. I would love if you would subscribe and stick around and until my next video please remember that you are special, beautiful, and magical and I love you so much. Bye!